We are your local election headquarters, and the race is heating up for an open seat in the 91st district where Representative Mike Eunice is retiring from office. Teacher Josh Grimes running for the job on the Democratic side. On the Republican side, current mayor of Pekin, Mark Luft. Our Treasure Roberts spoke with him about the race. So you were homegrown in Pekin, Illinois, rising up in the ranks over the years, starting as a Pekin City Councilman, moving into the mayoral chair, and now you're running for the 91st representative seat. Now tell us, what made you want to kick it up a notch and attempt to transition from local to state leadership? Well, there were several re, uh, things that drove this. Uh, number one, um, what we had been doing in the city of Pekin at City Hall and found that it was working and we were moving forward quickly. Uh, I decided that it was a good time to take that philosophy to Springfield uh, and implement it down there to a bigger arena where we could not only help our municipality, but help, help the state as a whole uh, as well. Obviously, um, ethics reform has driven me. Uh, economic development uh, is a major issue too. We have major issues with our corporate tax compared to our neighbors uh, that is causing us to fail in the economic development area. And uh, we have some serious work to do on tax reform, especially with property taxes. When you sit at number 48, 49, or 50th rank in the country, uh, it's time to sit up and take notice and uh, do something about that. And you mentioned ethics reform. Now, if elected, you plan to prioritize that in Springfield and attempt to root out corruption in the government. Tell me how you would go about that exactly. What changes would you make? Well, one person's not going to do it. That's, for, uh, that's a fact. And watching the Republican Party over the last couple of years, I think they've done a great job at building the right team in order to push that through. I think we've reached a point uh, with the image we had of our state um, that we even, there's Democrats even on board and understanding that regardless of the topic, uh, regardless of what we want to do in Illinois to make things better for those of us who are still living here, uh, nothing's going to change until that leadership we currently have changes and that ethics reform is set into place. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm so anxious about it. I've already made comment to Springfield that if I get down there, uh, that would be a committee I would uh, like to be on. And you also said that you'll aim to improve the quality of life for Illinoisans. You know, different groups of people have different needs. How will you determine what's needed between those groups and improve the quality of life for all of them specifically? It all starts with the relationships that you have in the network. Um, you can have a group uh, sponsor you uh, or endorse you, uh, and you may not know everything about that group. Um, it's important to have those communication lines open. It's important to listen to everybody, uh, what their needs are, what their wants are. Uh, and you take that formula and you put it together and you try to figure out where that fair ground is, uh, where everybody benefits from that. You know, I tell everybody all the time, the Republicans and Democrats uh, both have always had their agendas. They do now and they will have their agendas in the future. But there's a whole pool of agenda items that are sitting there uh, that have to do with the quality of life for the rest of us that are still here that aren't being addressed because they're not working together to get that done. And that's what I want to go down and do. Uh, I have a solid reputation and a background of building those relationships and opening communication lines. And that's where we need to start in order to address those. You also are big on fiscal responsibility and the economy. You said you want to work on cutting out of out of control spending and to move the state forward. So can you tell me what do you think the government or the state is spending too much money on and how will you help curb spending? That's a whole long list. Uh, first off, and, and that's what we did when we came into City Hall, uh, when I built my team and went in there. Uh, right when I got there, the first thing that was on the agendas were raising taxes uh, to accommodate uh, the loss in the budget. Uh, I pushed and pushed uh, before we reached that point, even looked at a tax. Uh, everybody knows that there's waste in government, uh, lots of it, especially in the state of Illinois. And it's going to take a really good team to go through that and cut that waste out. Once you cut the waste out and see where you truly are fiscally, uh, and in your budget, then you could move forward um, with redirecting and restructuring. So the, the, 
I always tend to head for the root first. Uh, I, I go underground first and, and look for the main issue, um, the main cause. Uh, and that's what we need to do down there too. The first priority is to cut the waste. All right, thanks so much for joining us, Mayor Leff. We appreciate it.